In water treatment, we use rapid sand filter and slow sand filter. Now we will be discussing the comparative points in between these two. See, based on operation, design, maintenance, performance, efficiency, we will be differentiating in between the rapid sand filter that is RSF and slow sand filter that is SSF. See, the first criteria that we will be discussing is design and construction. See, when we are talking about rapid sand filter, the design consists of granular filter media as the media used for filtration. Then the flow rate in case of a rapid sand filter is very high. Then it may use a closed tank or concrete structure and the water will be passing out via under drain system whereas when we are talking about slow sand filter it has high area the surface area required is very very high as you can see in the diagram right then large filter media depth as compared to the rapid sand filter and the operation is a biological and physical process that we will be discussing in detail in the further slides then let's talk about flow rate Obviously, when we are saying rapid sand filter, the term rapid, the prefix rapid is there because it has high flow rate. Okay, it ranges from 2 to 20 gallons per minute per square foot. Whereas when we are talking about a slow sand filter, it has the range of flow rate in between 0.1 to 0.3 gallon per minute per square foot, right? Thereby, High flow rate is the property of rapid sand filter as the name is suggesting and slow flow rates is the property of slow sand filter. Then let's talk about mechanism. See when we are talking about rapid sand filters mechanism it totally relies on the physical filtration process means the granular bed is going to be there then whatever input is provided whatever the raw water is provided it will be filtering out the impurities out of it and it will be letting out the filtrate is going to be the pure clean water and when we talk about slow sand filter it makes use of both the concept it makes use of the physical filtration and biological filtration process also see when water is passing through a slow sand filter it will be developing a growth of biofilm which is called as smudge deck let's see in the diagram see the green dirty layer is formed in a slow sand filter and this film filters out more water and more efficiently right and when we are talking about rapid sand filter the filtration process goes via the physical process only okay see in the rapid sand filter physical filtration will be taking place then pathogen removal is going to take place and when we are talking about slow sand filter biological process that is biofilm filtration and physical filtration will be causing the impurities to get removed right here you can see the media layer arrangement that can be in the rapid sand filter and here in the diagram on the right you can see the biofilm that has been formed right and in slow sand filter the biofilm growth will be continuous and after a continuous growth the head loss is going to be there means there will not be any passage of water through the biofilm then it will be the time for scrapping of the file biofilm the renewal of the biofilm that is renewal of the filter beds that we are going to see in the maintenance aspect then when we are talking about maintenance see in the rapid sand filter frequent maintenance is required because high flow rates are there thereby clogging of the filter bed takes place very frequently that's why backwashing in 24 to 48 hour is carried out and for backwashing the rapid filter rapid sand filter is going to use the same filtered water right and when we are talking about maintenance or cleaning of the slow sand filter we have to periodically scrap the up layers of the biofilm that is the smudge deck which is formed on the top of the filter bed see here on the left you can see the rapid sand filter is being backwash the muddiness of the water can be seen and on the right the slow sand filter is there and the upper layers are being mechanically or manually can be they can be scraped off okay a total new layer is to be laid over the filter bed then let's talk about efficiency see both the rapid sand filter and slow sand filter are very much efficient in the rapid sand filter 
we get rid of about 90 to 99 percent of the bacterias but when we are talking about slow sand filter we get about 99.9 percent .9 clean water in slow sand filter removal of pathogen test odor is there but when we are talking about rapid sand filter it is not that much efficient in removing certain bacteria microorganism taste and odor elements right so we will be taking care of that factor when we are disinfecting the water then let's talk about the cost aspect see rapid sand filters are expensive to construct because they involve construction of the concrete beds and concrete tanks and all those things and another aspect is continuous maintenance is required right and when we are talking about slow sand filter the initial cost is there because land acquisition is there large area is required when we are having a uh, slow sand filter but since the design is simple since the maintenance is simple slow sand filters initial cost may be there but the maintenance cost is low while on the other hand since continuous maintenance is there in the rapid sand filter it has high maintenance cost then let's summarize this video so we saw some points regarding rapid sand filter and slow sand filter and we compared them on the parameters which are design construction flow rate filtration mechanism maintenance efficiency and cost okay in rapid sand filter the closed tanks may be there in slow sand filter open bed design is preferred the flow rate is high in case of rsf it is low in case of ssf then filtration mechanism in rsf is based primarily on physical filtration process whereas in slow sand filter physical filtration as well as biofilm filtration is there smudge deck formation is there then when we are talking about maintenance it requires more frequent cleaning and backwashing in case of rsf and in ssf the cleaning recurrence period is about two to three months when the smudge deck that is the biofilm grows too much then we need the cleaning process then efficiency of rapid sand filter is up to 90 to 99 percent and in case of slow sand filter it is about 99.9 .9, which is very very superior in case of cost it is expensive to construct and maintain okay the rsf and when we are talking about ssf only the initial cost is high but the maintenance is low so that was all regarding rapid sand filter and slow sand filter i will see you in next one till then take care bye bye